Welcome to another Top 5 here at MacGuffinPodcast.com. I am Brandy. I'm Ben. Today we're going to do Top 5 Party Scenes. It's party a good way scenes. to get all your characters together in a room, and usually some chaos or hijinks ensue. Indeed. Hijinks usually does ensue. Hijinks. Big fan of hijinks. All right, you want to start? All right, I'll start. My number five is Dazed and Confused. Ah. Uh, I mean, a movie that's essentially one giant party scene. Uh... But, I mean, what's not to love about it? And really, as I was doing this list, I kind of realized that a lot of movies I could put on this list also were movies that I had previously on top five teen comedies. Yeah. And so I decided to mix it up. And this was (laughs) one that I wanted on that list, and it didn't wind up there. So it's on this list. Parties in the Woods. Coming of Age. (laughs) Uh, Matthew McConaughey gets older and high school girls stay the same age, you know. It's pathetic. It's good time. <laughs> All right. All right. My number five from a film that uh, I think it's well known that I champion this film, not just as an entertaining uh example of my generation what my generation of women loves but as a truly great movie and that is clueless the valley party that they go to yeah where you learn the rules of how to be how to have a good time at a party always do a lap before committing to a location Uh, (laughs) um and you know without that scene we wouldn't have rolling with i was just gonna ask isn't that the scene one of the funniest like white girl moments of all time (laughs) so indeed yes and then of course you've got murray shaving his head because he's keeping it real and just more chaos ensuing until the night ends with Cher being held at gunpoint yeah that's right (laughs) It's been a long time since I've seen Clueless. I need to rewatch it. Okay, we'll it. watch it after this. Don't worry. All right, immediately <laughs> after. Okay, what's your number four? All right, moving on. My number four is Can't Hardly Wait. Another movie that's essentially an entire party. Uh, I know. Well, that was something that also came about as I was doing this list, is most <laughs> movies that involve party scenes that I was thinking of are usually movies that are entirely party scenes. Mm-hmm. And Can't Hardly Wait... wait Um, its working title was The Party. Of course, I had to change it because of another movie called The Party, but uh, it is one giant party. They're both kind of dumb titles. Yeah, no, I mean... Can't Wait is a really fun movie. It is. It's a good classic uh, throwback to, like, 80s teen movies that was done in the 90s, and it was done well, and it has a lot of people that have gone on to be much bigger stars Mm -hmm. at this point who were just kind of teen up-and-comers. Uh, it was also kind of neat to see, uh, and I forget the actor's name, but uh, um, from the uh, Bill Murray movie and uh, Richard Dreyfuss, the vacation movie. What's that? What did? Uh, what about Bob? Anyways, the kid from oh, What About Bob? Oh yeah, he grows up. He gr- to be he's the, all grown the up, and he's guy. in what the. What is ner- that kid's yeah. name? Sorry, there was a little tangent that I just took us he on there, but Siggy uh, in What About back. Bob. <laughs> Uh, That's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's not. It's interesting sense. to see him kind of all grown up and one of the X Files nerds, and I could totally identify with that to a certain degree. Though I was already graduated <laughs> from high school by the time that movie came you're really, out. You're revealing still, a lot about Corsmo. yourself here. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Charlie Corsmo. Charlie Corsmo. All right. Well, Where there you, you at, go, dude. We like you, Charlie. It was nice to see you in that movie. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. Moving on. <laughs> number four. Um. Moving to uh, a different era of parties, but one that serves as a bit of a commentary in this film on on decadence in general. Mm -hmm. Um, The birthday party scene for Marie Antoinette from Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette. Not the only party scene in the movie, and actually, maybe I should have picked the masked ball. I mean, the movie is like... I haven't seen it. Party... Court scene, party, court scene. (laughs) Hmm, Interesting. Um, and I love the way that these parties are shot because you just, you want, you, even while you have sort of a contempt for the, the excess, you want to be in that room with them too. Mm. And you can just feel, uh, how much fun it must have been. I mean, uh, you, you, people on the podcast need to watch this movie because I feel like I'm the only one who's seen it. I'm the only one who talks about it, but it's so You have good. talked about it before. I'll. <laughs> Probably get around to watching it at some point. Great right. parties. 
So I suppose we should move on to number three. In that case, uh, I decided that to move away from comedies and was starting to think about what are movies that have, you know, some great party scenes in it that are more dramatic. And of course, one of my favorite films of all time has several great party scenes and that would be boogie nights and it opens <laughs> with a fantastic party sequence that's taking place at the uh, restaurant with that amazing camera work that just moves around and introduces us to all the characters in mm -hmm. one cut uh it's such a fantastic movie and as it moves along i mean Things just go from bad to worse, and the 80s destroy everything, but that party that transcends the movie from the 70s to the 80s and ends with the unfortunate demise of one of the characters uh, is, is also in itself a really great party scene. And Paul Thomas Anderson really shows his strength for using music along mm -hmm. with film with those party scenes. Like He just throws in some great music, and it's edited well, and it makes the film really that much more livelier. Yeah, that actually is one of the reasons why I love party scenes so much is because you're probably going to hear some great music exactly. in the background. Yeah. Okay, my number three, another one in the teen comedy realm from just a few years ago, and that is Super Bad. Oh, yes. Uh, and, you know, there's a couple different parties in this movie because they're on their way to the party that really matters when they get sidetracked to the weirdest party in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love every bit of that sequence. Oh, yes. Uh, pouring the beer into the laundry things, like singing with those stoners in the bedroom, dancing with the woman who's having her time of the month, which, you know, just, if anyone's worried about that, since seeing that scene, that's not going to happen to you. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> what? I thought that happened all the time. No. Most of us have it under control. Uh, but, uh, I just, I love that, like, everything going wrong kind of party scene, and they're just in a different world with these older drunk stoners <laughs> yes um and i just love that movie i think it's so well put together and so hilarious and has a lot of heart as well i really can't say enough good things about it yeah it's a great comedy i considered putting it on my list but unfortunately I didn't make it because <laughs> for my number two i had to put weird science <laughs> oh, God. and simply because it has probably the best cameo in a party sequence that I could ever think of. I mean, I'm sure you might think of better ones, <laughs> but in my opinion, there's there's no two greater people to have crash your party than Vernon Wells, who's known as Wes from Road, The Road Warrior, and Michael Berryman, who most people may or may not know as the mutant from The Hills Have Eyes, the original <laughs> film. And they crash the party as a couple bikers, you know, and rough the kids up, and the kids have to prove themselves worthy to their girlfriends and to all their peers at the party and it's all because of that meddling Kelly LeBrock this has been a long ass time since I've seen Weird Science so I'll just believe you on this uh, one it's a great movie I mean one of mm. Bill Paxton's finer performances I is can't Chet. say that a couple of kids wanting to build a sex robot is my idea of like a great premise for a film so maybe that's where my resistance comes I don't know why you would resist it. against that I mean being an adult woman and all. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Number two, <clears throat> still in the teen comedy realm, had to pick 16 Candles. The party that ends up it. going on at Jake Ryan's house is one of the definitive teen scenes ever, I think. And not uh, not only is it great for story purposes of throwing the geek and Jake Ryan together at the mm -hmm. end of the night, but... One of the funniest drunk moments in cinema, I think, the debate over what to do about her hair when it's caught in the door, oh. <laughs> and they end up cutting it off instead of opening the door, <laughs> which is just like, there's a special level of drunk that you only get when you are first going to parties like that, and it is highly entertaining <laughs> to me. And then you have Long Duck Dong, who gets exceptionally trashed. Yes. It makes for even yes. more entertaining it's times. There's a lot of bad decisions going on, and then you've just got Jake in the background being like, <sighs> to everything, <laughs> which, uh, I love that movie. It's a really fantastic do. film. But no. unfortunately, we have to move on no. Yeah, to the number one. And my number one comes down to The Party. <laughs> I don't know what this movie is. It's the Blake Edwards film starring... Oh. Uh, oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm having a special moment right now. It's okay. Uh, Peter Sellers. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Claudine Langette and Marge Champion, 
who are also great actresses. Uh, the movie is just a party and <laughs> it's uh it's got no plot uh, but it's a uh, super fun it starts off with uh peter sellers as he's playing like an indian man or something like that and he's an extra on a movie set and he gets fired from the movie set or well that's the intention because he bumbles everything and he fucks up the shot and so uh he's supposed to be fired and instead of getting fired a clerical error instead instead sends him an invite to this major hollywood party <laughs> and he shows up at the party and hijinks ensue for uh, an hour and a half. I literally. love Peter Sellers hijinks the best out of pretty much any hijinks. Yeah, too. and if you've ever heard the term birdie num nums, that's where it came from. <laughs> I know people bust it out from time to time and it's well, kind now of an I have annoying, to watch the movie but, because yeah. I'm so curious. No, it's a fantastic so. movie. It's one of Blake Edwards' better films and it's always fun to watch uh, you know, Peter Sellers just yeah. run loose. Okay, well, I'm also going with a slightly older film for my number one. And I'm surprised I didn't have more older films on here because, like, those old movies where everybody gets real dressed up and stands around having martinis and throwing barbs at each other in mm -hmm. a haughty tone, those are, like, my favorite things. But <laughs> number one, the party that Margot throws in All About Eve where everybody gets mm. together and you have possibly the greatest line in the history of s cinema to kick things off. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. <laughs> and it's a great line. Oh, it's just a wonderful scene full of people who are amazing actors throwing some of the best dialogue that's ever been written back and forth at each other. Just insult, insult, insult. And it's all like veiled in a bigger conversation. Oh, Amazing scene, amazing movie. I you know, talk I've, ta about I've it. talked it just about it. Makes me want to go watch yeah. it now. We're it's gonna have so to good. put off. Uh, We're gonna need a party movie marathon. Yeah, we'll have to put off that other movie and watch that one <laughs> okay. first. Fine, fine. Yes, great stuff. All right. All right. That has been is. another top five here at MyGuffinPodcast.com. You can check out other top fives at our website or on YouTube, and you can read all sorts of other articles and such at the website as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.